Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hey, it's, uh, Toke, I guess. So recently I've been seeing these videos going around on YouTube where it's like, people making videos that are just like they used to be. Like back when YouTube was, you know, for first, like, out first, like, ten years. Where it's like videos that have, like, barely any editing. It's just people playing games and talking. And I thought, you know, I might try this. So I'm just going to uh, practice Verity and talk, I guess. Crap, where is the heck is Verity? Uh, so they're like, you know, videos that go completely against the algorithm. Um, no editing. And I feel like it's kind of a fun challenge to like stay interesting whilst also um, not like editing. Why did I just turn no clip on? What the heck? So I was thinking like things you could talk about, I guess. So I was thinking, why don't we just talk about the algorithm in general? And what it's like now compared to what it used to be. This is way too loud. So. I think editing in general has become a huge part of the algorithm. Which is obvious. Editing has always been a huge, huge thing to help your videos stay interesting. And I know that because I've been editing since I was like, I don't know, seven maybe. And, uh, you know. It keeps things interesting. But I feel like recently, and by recently, I mean from the past like four years, five years. Whoa, that is laggy. The past four or five years, editing has really like turned into something else. I feel like people are relying on it too much. Like, um, it used to be a tool, you know, tool. Uh, but now I feel like people are relying on it more than a tool. Like it can just make their video um you know 10 like 100 times better but they're not like taking away from your personality right you're using your editing to replace personality and not everyone's done this there's a lot of people who haven't but like a lot of people who have like really really fast paced intros that if you really like think about them and sit down to like watch and think about what's going on, they make absolutely no sense. And I do this. <laughs> I literally have fast paced intros sometimes. My last video literally has a super fast paced intro and I feel like that's okay. As long as you're not relying on it too much. Like you still have to have a good video idea. Whoa. Now that I'm using arrow keys, I'm doing way better. <laughs> Um, but like, I feel like, uh, people really rely too much on retention editing, you know, cause it's become a whole thing now. It's a whole new method of getting views because the algorithm nowadays, the way it works is with retention. Your video needs to hold retention to get pushed out to more, uh, to a bigger audience. And... It really has. How do, did you see it? I just completely missed that. Much, I want to try that again. Oh, okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that again. It really has uh, changed. Like the quality of videos in a way. Like the quality, like production quality. No, it's gone through the skies. But it's changed like the quality of the person behind the video. Like you're not getting as much personality. You're just getting like really fast text flashing on the screen. And I feel like it really does take away from the connection with your audience. So I've been like, trying to experiment with different ways. I don't know why I can't get past this wave. I need to stop talking while I try this. Hang on. Bro, I did not used to struggle this hard. Bruh. Well, anyway, um, it really has kind of taken away from the personality part 
of YouTube. Let's go. Uh, why am I lagging so bad? I feel like now it's just people are relying on their editing so much that um they don't really need to like create a fan base that trusts them. If that makes sense, like. It's, it's almost like entertain like entertainment over personality instead of personality over entertainment because um you know so many of these creators like back then you can really feel like and feel like they're really talking to you because they're they are talking to you they're not really like uh well, I guess that kind of I'm I can't explain things very well and that's kind of a good point see if you feel like i'm talking to me because i can't explain things and normal people can't explain then again i'm not very normal okay never mind but um i just feel like uh with this thing going on now where people are making videos with no editing i just i think it's very interesting and you know, I wanted to try it because it's way different than what uh, YouTube's like now, and I want I want to experiment and see like how good I the retention with this video will be, like how far in this video are people gonna watch? Like, I'd expect more than half the people to be gone at this point of the video. So if you're still here, subscribe if you're enjoying this because. You're enjoying me and not my editing uh so you'll probably enjoy my other videos uh, and streams so yeah but i, I kind of wanted to experiment with it and see what it's like so uh A little editing is fine but once you use editing so much to the point where you can't tell what's going on like a mr beast intro bro like have you ever like watched a mr beast intro in slow motion and try to figure out what the heck they're even talking about it's almost like a psychology tool at this point like you're not really people all because they're engaged in your content and like watching it and giving you retention doesn't necessarily mean they're in entertained like our brains are wired to be interested in like flashy fast paced things but all because we're like interested in it like engaged in it and looking at it doesn't necessarily mean we're entertained because like i mean have you ever like i i know i have literally been completely zoned out while watching a video and it's like really hyper editing and your brain, you're still watching it, even though you're not even paying attention to it at that point. <clears throat> it's weird. So I feel like a lot of the audience isn't even, like, paying attention to what they're watching. So they're just going to leave. I feel like it's important to build an audience who's interested in your content. And that audience will stay. And then the audience that isn't interested we'll just leave instead of it like instead of the interested on a instead of the uninterested audience still giving you retention then i feel like it's kind of a trick like they're getting retention even from people who aren't interested because they're just staring at their screen not paying attention <laughs> i don't know if that's exactly true that's just like i don't know my thesis <laughs> Um, my hypothesis, not thesis. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's actually true. I have no evidence at all, except the fact that I've been zoned out watching videos before. So I'm, I don't know. Tell, tell me in the comments. Have you ever been just watching a video without even like paying attention to what's going on? <laughs> because it, I, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting to think about, but I feel like nowadays People are building audiences, but they're not really building connections with their audience. And it's not 100% true. Obviously, people are still really interested. But I feel like a lot of faceless creators, I know a lot of people don't like, not faceless, but like full on 
everything list, like just text to speech, like YouTube Shorts creators, like they they have an audience, but their audience isn't really connected with them. They're connected with their content. So like, like those videos, where it's like that that guy like rolling glasses downstairs, and like whichever one breaks loses or whatever. Um, or whichever one gets to the bottom wins. Um, his audience isn't interested in him. They're interested in what he's doing. Which means they'd be interested in anyone who does that same type of video. So that's why I think it's important to leave personality in your content and not just your content. And that's why I think editing has become more than a tool. It's not just uh, your content, it's you. And I don't mean that in the sense that your editing style is you. I mean that in the sense that your editing has become what they're paying attention to. They're not paying attention to your feelings, your emotions. They're paying attention to your editing. Like, there's this one video. I don't really know what video it was at all, but it was like this guy doing something. And he had like this, like, one minute talking about this situation going on and the whole situation was resolved in like 10 seconds and you couldn't even tell how you just heard him saying it was resolved and how it was but like it was so rapid you're just like your brain's assuming you were paying attention it's weird so i feel like editing is important i'm obviously going to edit my next video i make this video is kind of just a test to see what it's like to not edit um, except that one part where I stepped out for like 10 minutes. I'm definitely editing that, <laughs> but <clears throat> I think it's, I think I'm going to try this. I'm going to post this, see what happens. And I'm going to start maybe editing my videos with a little more personality, which my videos have had a lot of personality to be honest. Um, cause I don't do hyper editing. My last video I did kind of hyper editing and I like retention editing, not hyper editing. I did some retention editing in my last video and it wasn't too much in my opinion. No, go watch it. Tell me if it was too much retention editing. I feel like I still kept a lot of the personality in it, but I'm, I'm not sure. Like I'm not trying to say that all these people are terrible creators and they don't care about their audience. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I feel like a lot of people are overusing retention editing and it's almost becoming who they are at this point. There we go. Finally got one completion. I haven't played Verity in so long. I am so rusty and my game's lagging. It makes it hard. Um, <laughs> this one ship part is where I always die. Uh, I had, I was going to make a Verity video actually. Tell me if you want to see that because something crazy happened that, uh, I should definitely show <laughs> it was pretty crazy um so tell me uh, in the comments if you want to see that uh i guess that's kind of it for my rant about retention editing um i kind of just wanted to see what would happen if i just didn't edit a video and posted it to youtube just like back in like 2013 when i well not 2013 but like you know yeah well this type of stuff 2013 uh and before like a lot of the videos that people have been making recently are like minecraft in the background i think that's really cool but obviously i'm a geometry dash youtuber so i thought maybe maybe i can do geometry dash so anyway that's for my rant uh hope you enjoyed it's probably really boring to be honest <laughs> uh if you did make sure to like the video or dislike it if you don't like it because i want feedback subscribe if you want to don't subscribe if you don't want to and uh bye i guess <laughs>